Today we are in Ormond Beach along the coast. Never been here before. A bit of a different job than normal. We are capturing footage for a tourism company. So stopping off at a couple beaches along Florida's east coast and basically running around with a gimbal, grabbing some shots of the park, trying not to show anybody's faces, and then putting the drone up not your typical apparel for a job but there's no client on site and as always no editing as someone who grew up on the beach i feel qualified to say this don't have your wedding right in front of the boardwalk do it right there because over here you're gonna get a bunch of idiots and tourists and coolers and little kids running around in the back of your photos and it's gonna ruin the whole thing and then you're gonna get some dummy like me who's gonna have to do a drone job and you're gonna be swirling around you. So much better option. I know it, it sucks to go in the sand, but just go right there. I really emptied my bag. So the only things we have in here are a stripped down FX6. And let me tighten this up, there we go using the, the Freewell K2 filter that they got me because the thing I always complain about is you cannot mix the internal ND, the beautiful internal variable ND with the polarizer on the outside. You have to put both of them on the outside. So Freewell gave me this thing. It's a uh, ND32 plus CPL. Since we're at the beach, the main thing you need to do is make that water blue and cut all the glare. So we're gonna have an ND CPL on here and uh, I got my drone back from the repair. So a uh, long time ago when I got this Mavic 2 Pro, I purchased the Polar Pro cinematic something filter. It's just ND and CPL. So this is the uh, two tools we're gonna be using today. I haven't used this in a long time. Um, wind is, is still kicking. So try to get this up before it gets any heavier. All right, what do you think? Is this overkill? We're getting a little balancing act going right now. Uh, no audio needed, of course. So to me, this is a really, really good option. Um, however, I'm not gonna deny, if you have a good external ND system, it is easier just to use an A7S III or FX3. Um, if you are using internal ND, no, no argument. This is the call. And now I want to talk to you guys about today's sponsor. I'm just kidding. We don't do that here. Not yet anyways. I'm sure we'll get some sponsors soon. But for now, just enjoy the ad-free space. I'm trying to not walk if I don't have to. It's just, uh, just use that hip swaying motion. Usually is a better shot, more stable. All right, I think we got enough up here. I'm gonna bring the camera down and uh, get some water shots. There's one surfer out, way out there. But uh, it's not worth bringing the drone back up again. And uh, yeah, just gotta deal with the salt water spray. That's how it goes on the beach. We're at our second out of three locations. Remember that time I got hit by a rogue tire on the highway? I still need to get this fixed. I think it's gonna be a little north of a grand. But I'm gonna start with the gimbal this time and run around a lot faster. That first one took me a long time. Uh, so far, the uh, Freewell K2, doing pretty well. I lost the lens cap though, so I don't know where that is and it's really exposed when I put it in my car. Had to go in, need to get some different angles. The stuff is starting to look repetitive. Water feels good too, it's not cold yet. Up, up and away. I'm flying the drone in my car and there is nothing better than being in the AC. It's a completely different work experience. While the bird is up in the air, I have a question for you guys. Do you feel like an artist 
or a service provider. Because the longer I do this, I feel like a service provider because my clients have problems and I work on giving them a solution and I get to use tools. My favorite tool right now is the FX6. And I get to tackle their problem in a unique way because I'm the one doing it. So it has my visual perspective on it. That is my number one priority is to solve their problems. Much like you have a carpenter and his goal is to create a dresser or a cabinet there is a need for that cabinet. However, you get the craftsmanship of someone who has been doing it for forever. They know how to make it work seamlessly, what will work best, what types of woods, and then they get to inject their design language into it. And that might be the reason why you are going to that carpenter. I've also equated it to being a plumber. And if I had a leaky faucet and the plumber would not stop raving about the wrench that he was using, I would be mad. I'd say, the problem is the leaking thing. Go fix that. I don't care what tool you're using. And I think that does carry over into the video world as well. You can kind of see way back there is a uh, condo that I actually did some marketing material for like a couple years ago. And it was one of the... It was a very high paying job, more than I was used to. And uh, the day before I decided to be, you know, let's go above and beyond and put the drone up and get some drone visuals before the production day even starts. And I put it up about 30 feet and I had a really weird feeling and I don't really ever have that. And I just stared at it. It was a Phantom 3 or 4. And I was like, man, I don't feel good about this drone. And we were just in a parking lot and it just dropped exploded on the ground um, luckily didn't hit anything but if that had been a few feet over over a1a this main road I don't know how much of a horrible situation that would have been in so typically I stay away from drone jobs this is a one-off I can handle it all right third and final beach uh somewhere in new smyrna i've never been here before but the waves are crashing like right right next to this boardwalk we're trying to show this beach off in the best light possible so probably gonna avoid the storm destroyed pier or boardwalk going down there maybe try to cover it with the drone with this fence or avoid shooting from the water towards the shore I don't know, I gotta get a little creative. Uh, but this camera's done. We're gonna throw it back in the bag and then get the drone up one last time. And then we're good to go. And there's actually a, a bit of a wave out here. See a little outside there. Uh, it's surfable. So I like to stick primarily to corporate work interviews, uh, very small packages. But yeah, like I said before, who who is varying up the amount of jobs that they're taking? Because in the beginning, I was taking so many random things and they all helped me get experience and build my network and it was super beneficial. And I guess even now, I still do take a wide range of stuff. I mean, the, the amount of change you guys see on the vlogs from corporate work to the bigger broadcast work to just operating a gimbal to bringing a full amount of gear to being a, a DP for a documentary, big and small feature episodic. There's a ton of different stuff uh, that I, I do take on, but one thing that will not happen again is weddings. Anybody else starting to feel like an adult where wherever they go, they have to open up Zillow and see what are the house prices here? What are the comparables? What does a 2-2 go for in this area? Building the rig back up for tomorrow's corporate shoot and then transferring all of today's footage. I absolutely love my 1-1 downtown apartment. I live here with my girlfriend and I've just been thinking lately, I think I want to own instead of rent. Or I want to be aware. I just When I look at Zillow, I don't even know what uh, are my price options? I'm, am I in the two hundred thousand? And am I the four hundred thousand? So, 
I'm meeting with a real estate agent and we're actually gonna look at um, another unit in this building because you can't get a better location in downtown Orlando than this place. And all of those are double and triple the price of this place. So gonna explore, get some just reference. What am I even in the ballpark of cost wise? And uh, I, I put up a post on my community, YouTube community thing. And a lot of people were very vocal about investing in real estate was a good thing or is a bad thing. Everybody has different uh, opinions, but yeah, if you guys have uh, advice, let me know. First time home buyer. And also I'm really considering doing the newsletter. It would be a way for me to express some ideas that maybe I don't want in a vlog, but I don't mind putting it out in a private newsletter. Uh, my engagements with certain companies. Uh, I'm trying to get a cart for free from Adicam. I'm talk talking to the CEO and uh, literally negotiating with him. So I was thinking about maybe kind of putting these extra things that are happening in text form, keeping it short and sweet. I know I don't like having big fat newsletters, but just very entrepreneurial, creative, and and kind of having like a little side community. If that's something that you would find value in, just let me know.